This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The Channel Islands are located off the Southern California coast near Ventura in Los Angeles counties. The islands once had one of the largest colonies of bald eagles. Unfortunately, though, by the early 1960s, bald eagles disappeared from the Channel Islands due to a combination of several factors. One of them was hunters and ranchers hunted bald eagles because they felt their numbers were too high. Annie Little is a biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Also, there were problems with egg collection, and ultimately, bald eagles disappeared because of DDT contamination. There have been bald eagle restoration efforts on the island since the 1980s, but success started taking hold in 2006. In 2006, we had our first two pairs established on Santa Cruz Island, and we had the first natural hatch. Since 2006, all the way to 2013, a total of 81 bald eagle chicks have hatched out on the islands. And we continue to see an increased number of breeding pairs and we expect the population to continue to increase. And while there are many public and private partners involved in the restoration, success is also happening because of the long-term commitment to bringing back bald eagles to the Channel Islands. This program has been 30 years in the making, and after that amount of time, we finally started to see natural hatching out on the island. So I think it shows the persistence of these types of chemicals in the environment and how restoration doesn't happen overnight. But if you continue and you press on, you can ultimately restore the ecosystem. And Annie says through GPS tracking, scientists are learning a lot about bald eagles. We've been able to document the survival of these birds as well as their dispersal. And we found that some birds have traveled all the way up to British Columbia Others have traveled as far east as Yellowstone National Park and then made their way back. They are wide-ranging and they do disperse, but then they come back and eventually set up pairs where they are originally from. And via a live webcam, you can have a chance to see the entire bald eagle breeding process. From the pairs building the nest together to laying of the eggs to hatching of the chicks, and then eventually when the chicks leave the nest. And the scientists are benefiting as well through the observations of citizen scientists who will watch the live cameras and document what they're seeing. This is a win for citizen scientists, biologists, and most importantly, bald eagles. And my thanks to Annie Little. Our Thank You Ocean Everyday Action is to avoid the use of toxic chemicals as much as possible and keep trash and chemicals out of storm drains. Polluted water from storm drains flows into the sea and can harm marine life and the environment. I'm Jerry Kay.